real fine sandpaper. Get some of the gumminess. We got little bitty rust spots, but they feel good now. Still wheel seals on the inside too, they can leave. And they leave a heck of a lot more than these do. Very common for that seal in there to start spitting gear oil out, saturate your brakes, saturates everything, stinks like a son of a gun. But that's the inside one, not here. This one, almost never really an issue, but we'll go ahead and put new O-rings any freaking way. Like they go ahead and wire brush the whole act. Took a lot of the stuff off of it. Just wanted to clean that plane, clean the outside. At least look like we were there. Oh, 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 made a mess. Pop it in, go back and wire brush all that blue Loctite off, get them all brand new again. Okay, let's wash our hands. That thing's nasty. I got it off the ground right now. We'll put some blue Loctite in it, and then we'll drop this on the ground and torque it to 80 foot pounds. Okay, got it on the ground. Now we'll just walk around in a circle. Drive shaft is tight. The only thing left right now is put gear oil in it, tighten the rear diff cover. We're gonna leave these covers off, go for a drive. I'd like to see if anything's building any abnormal heat, at least that we could see from the outside. Check him out, almost missed him, Don and Rosalind. Going to do some kind of project, having a father-daughter day. He just grabs a semi and grabs his excavator and gonna go down here and do something. Holy goodness, We're airing it out. Julie's best cover just blew almost. Uh, yeah, I'm glad she didn't see that. You wanna close this door real fast. We have walked around the shop and almost cleaned everything. Need all this stuff gone. And then we have an issue. We're gonna call a quick all stop on Ron's. I know, holy crap. That's clean cut 6 build right there. There's gonna have to be a video coming on that. There's no injector chatter on the passenger side. We have four injectors here. We've got a Fickham from somewhere. $500 Fickham, we've got a $110 Fickham harness in the building and four injectors in the building for that truck right now. They just need to be put on. Look up there. That is that truck right there. It looks like a mean little truck, doesn't it? They have it on the farm and it gets kind of the literal crap beat out of it. Basically finish Ron's to where the shop's cleaned up, everything's gone. We're gonna pull Ron's in and it's cab off. Pretty sure Ron is ready for that. I've kinda cleaned it a little. Got that table all the way clean. It's ready to start stacking more stuff on for whatever the job is. Mm -mm -mm. This bench is just about never been cleaned. Uh, since we put the bench up, this has been a catch-all of everything. This is the light that I take when the cab goes up. That light goes under there. So when the cab is up, I don't have any light provision for the bench. This is the last cart. So that's the only thing left pretty much from the job. Used parts cart has got a little bit on it. Some stuff. We'll probably push that off to the side when we start taking the cab off. Shelves are empty. Dang, looks like, is that gear oil or water? I hope that ain't gear oil. That's gear oil all over the place? We're not gonna wash the floor before we take the cab off because I'm still debating on whether or not I'm gonna power wash right here. Yeah, we've done it a lot. It's a good chance to clean the floor. Keeps all the dust down. I need this to be down there. Oh, I almost made it. It's a sign that it's ready for fluid to go in. And I picked up this. We're gonna see how well it works. Maybe. Our little contraption works okay. Anthony's topping it off with a brand new bottle down there. We'll go drive it, take it again, we'll meet it back. Yep. Let's check four wheel drive here in a minute too. how she starts. Yeah, I mean, injectors seem to be all right. We're gonna pull this around and hot seat it, get under the hood done, like right now, and then we'll go do a test drive. By the time we get back, it'll be done dripping. I'll drive, let's wash it.
the first wash of many. Let's go drive it. All right, 215. All right, we got it out in the wind. Hold on, little buddy. Oh, goodness, I almost freaking forgot. Here you go. Okay, I have not tried it yet. Ready? On. Haha, -ha, look at that. That works great. Okay, let's check out the climate control. There you go. Yeah, it should be completely reliable. All right, so at least we fixed that. Oh, yes. Truck parking area here. We've gone, looks like nine miles. Got another 15 back to the shop. They gave us a little concrete area here to park at. Okay, so it's 150. We're back at the shop, 159 degrees. Pretty consistent through the whole rear end. No hot spot on the pinion. Fairly consistent everywhere on the rear diff. Well, we have a problem. That Dorman Pulse vacuum hub, we have it unplugged right now. As soon as you turn the key on, it locks the hubs in. <laughs> yeah, we are not done with that, but that's okay. That's a real quick, easy. Uh, maybe we might wind up with a Ford one on there. They're just freaking expensive as hell. It's very, very likely that that is a piece of crap. Item. When something is this easy to replace, really lifetime warranty, I, I don't know. I mean, it could turn into just a pain in the ass. We're gonna go ahead and get this black truck in here. It worked like a dream, the Kawasaki tow truck. Now we can just drive straight on out and then we'll pull Ron's back in. You guys wanna know the story of this? Clean cut 6 build. Stay tuned. Yeah. 